Hi everybody, the day has come to put gloss on our body and we're going to finish painting up the hood that's downstairs. We've got our gloss, we've got our Camaro, let's head downstairs. Here we are downstairs in the paint booth, I'm going to take care of the hood. Got my paint shaking up. Let's do a little practice spray, make sure there's no clogs coming out of it. Set that back a little bit. It's gonna do nice gentle strokes. Alright. I'm probably gonna have to do another coat on that before I sand it. Maybe two coats. But right now, and with the magic of Smartphones, we're ready to go. I got my gloss, I got the Camaro all sanded and roughed up. <clears throat> that just helps the gloss adhere to it. Um, if I painted, the paint would be too smooth and it could cause the uh, the gloss to start to flake off. So that's why we sand it. And got my gloss shaken up, no clogs. And let's do this. I'm going to do a light coat, just like when we painted, and we'll give it a couple coats. I have a question for some of you modelers out there. This is how I do it. I don't know if we'd be better to put decals on first or on top of the coat, top of the gloss. Obviously, I do it on top of the gloss. <coughs> If there's a better way, I'm not sure if the paint or the gloss would stick to the decals. So drop me a comment below. Let me know what you do. All right, you got that painted. I'm going to turn on the fan, turn on the heat, and I'll meet you back upstairs. Well, we made it back up the solid stairs. And here we are. Let's um, check out that little spot I masked off on the radiator housing and see how well that worked out. Pretty good. Got the edges over there and a little, little splotch right there we can take off. All right. So let's put on the windshield washer fluid. Where does this tape? All right, so here's a little, here's a little joke for you. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar, edit, a jar. All right, we're gonna put some glue right here on that little non-painted triangular shaped doodad right here. I'm gonna take a windshield washer, like the battery, just fits right over. Just like that. Now the whole assembly is done for that. But what we do need to do, I lied, because the whole assembly is not done for that. I take the hood latch here. And attach it here. Okay, now that we figure that out, <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back side of this here, a little bit on top. Just put that 
right into the little unpainted area that we did. Hold it there for a second. Make sure that the pieces are going to move once we let go. So we're going to have to let it harden, but let's set that guy down. Let him finish hardening. So we're going to put this onto the chassis. Can you see that? It's just going to sit real simple like. Just like that. All right, I didn't paint the bottoms of this, so that's good. But what I did paint is here, here. So I'm just going to file off a little bit of paint right there where it's going to be glued so give me a second and I'll grab my file okay I've got my file here I got um similar to the one I've used before except it's a little smaller it's got four sides keeping in mind that our engine's glued down we don't want to Yank that up, which I wasn't paying no mind to. Okay, now we're gonna file it right there. The file that spot right there, right there. I go in the corner. You know, all that junk we don't want in there. Huh? All right, now I'm going to put paint where we just, not paint, we done, we just filed it off. I'm going to put glue in those areas that we just filed off. I'm going to dab it because I don't want to spread paint into the glue area. Now, what we'll do while we're waiting is we've got some decals to do. And like that, I'm back. Got my tools, got my warm water. All I need is my decals. Okay. Got my decals. Don't need my sandpaper. Let's see what we're doing first. I can do them pretty much any order. Just checking that guy out. I'm gonna be putting decals on a radiator housing. So we've got decal 74 cut out. Uh, like I do, I cut it. A little long. It's a very tiny one. <clears throat> this we're going to soak in the warm water. And while that happens, I'm going to cut out some more of these and I shall return. Ubu disclosure. Uh, I got a little ahead of myself when I put this up there. The decal has to go on this. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to lean my radiator up here. Oh, stand there fine by itself. So I can slide uh, the ones that I need to go on top. On top. I'll let, I'll let the decal chip off on the paper towel for a minute. Give it a little test. It's ready to go. I'm going to take my trusty Decal motion. And my crappy brush that's only good for decal solution. 
I'm gonna brush it right here. There we go. I'm gonna take our decal. Sorry about the shaking, guys. Boy, I'm telling you, it's brutal. Try to stop up some of this water off of here. Whew. Be glad I saved you from the torture of that. I'm not good with little tiny decals. And the thing is, you can't even see it. Yes, up, Luna. Can you see it? I can't. Oh, geez. Well, at least I shut it off right away. Put a little bit of solution on top of that. And let that dry as we move on to decal 34. Okay. <clears throat> Let's test it. Got some slideage there. Good to go. Take a little bit of a solution here. It's going to go right on this edge right here. There you go. There we go. That one was much easier. So there, lightly tap, 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 tap. And solution. This is only going to help it. It's only going to help it stick. Because trust me, if you don't use something like this, decals tend to fall off. Especially if they're little like that. Okay, now we're going to move on to 33. Let's see if this guy's ready. Yep. Pat off some water there. Put a little solution where this guy's going to go. It's just the opposite side of the last one we did. Put my toothpick here. Okay, got that one on. I'm gonna do a little solution on that one. That's my washer. My wife has me doing chores. Okay, got the solution on that one. All right. Let's see if this guy's ready. Dab a little bit of water off of that. Ooh, I just saw it move. I saw it move. Yes, sir, we're good. So we're gonna dip this in our solution. I cut it off, but you missed it. I uh, I dipped my solution brush in the water. All right, so this is gonna go. Crosswise, cross these wires here. Got that on. Some solution on top of it. There we go. Last decal is the Delco decal. I'm sure, you can't see it because I can barely see it. Put that in the water. That one's going to go on the top of the battery. And like that. And slide that. That's good. I'm just going to turn this so it works better for me. I'm hoping you guys can see this. You know, in a little bit. 
Oh, we'll say about a month or so. I'm gonna have a whole new room to do this in. Dabbing off some water. Hopefully I'll have, whoa, look at that. Hopefully we'll have um, some better lighting. Definitely have better camera placement. All right, now we can put our solution on there. There we go. Now I'm just trying to do my best so you guys, you folks, guys and gals, what have you, can see. Yeah, now you can see it because it's on the it's on the black background. I'm gonna put some solution on there. I'll give you guys a gander, you folks, a gander. You know, I'm from the from the '60s and '70s. We called everybody guy. I know now I'd get in big trouble for it, but you know, different culture back then. Not to break out of what you've been brought up with. Whoops. All right. We got it. So we got our... Man, I wish this focused better for you. I, I, I just... No. So we got that one that we can't see at all. Then we got these two. We've got our Delco, which we can see now. It's on the black background. And we've got our battery warning. All right, what I decided to do, is I didn't like this going across the wires. Uh, authentic or not. Turns it sideways. So I think that looks better than saying, hey, how did they get a sticker to go over both those terminal wires? So yeah, there it is. Let's see what's next. Now that I've got my decal area cleaned up, there's a little bit of water. What's next is what we took apart, what I took apart, <clears throat> is to put the radiator back where it belongs. So we put some more glue all around where we had it before. Trying not to drag the paint onto it. There we go. Take our radiator and set it back in there. There we go. Beautiful. We'll set this aside. And we're going to have to paint a couple hoses. Let me find those. And just like that. I got them here. I'm gonna cut these off. You know, I was thinking a minute ago I just said about different culture. It made me think of a lesson that was taught to the apostle Peter. Let's trim this. I guess it's a little trim. And uh Peter asked Jesus, he said, if my brother or sister, now, mind you, they're not talking about necessary blood relations. They're talking about uh, you know, um, I guess family too, and just relationships in general. So Peter asked Christ, he says, if my brother or sister sins against me, against me now, mind you, that's more personal spin. So he says, if my brother or sister sins against me, how many times must I forgive them? Seven. And Christ says, 
if your brother or sister sins against you, you ought to forgive them seven times 77. So that actually doesn't mean, you know, you multiply seven to 77 and that's how much, how often you forgive them. Uh, the point he's trying to make is every time You know, because we're human. We're not going to be perfect at all, ever. And everybody comes from a different walk of life, a different culture. So if somebody has a different opinion than you, it seems to be really detrimental these days. And if somebody has a better, different opinion than you, then you know what? You forgive them and... It's very hard to not insult anybody just by speaking, speaking words you're used to. I mean, I'm not talking about, you know, detrimental words like white supremacy words or words like that, but, you know, just words. It's, 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 you know, we got to forgive each other for having a different vocabulary to, um, you know, not asking what your pronoun is. You know, that, that wasn't a thing. That was never a thing. Um, which, I mean, I'm going to paint these things flat in aluminum. All right. I'm back. So if somebody like my age, or I think even, you know, 30s and mid 20s, this pronoun thing is is new. You know, there's there's a lot more. I'm just using this for example, because there's there's a lot more out there than just pronoun. And in our detail brush. Uh, aluminum we're only going to paint this and this so so what i was saying anyway is uh you know if you're a pronoun person and somebody wants to ask you a question they don't know you obviously they don't know what you want to be called and they say if you're a biological male and they say excuse me sir or if you're a biological girl woman um, and they say excuse me ma'am why do we have to get mad can't you just forgive them for not realizing and you know be nice great uh, be nice, full of grace, um, and forgive them. Because I mean, in the in the long run, how how much did it really damage you for that little statement? You know, we really really need to learn a lot more from Jesus about love, forgiveness. Grace, mercy, these are all things we should be expressing to one another. I mean, that's what separates us, right? That separates us from the creation of wildlife that we can communicate, have a sense of respect for one another just because you might believe something somebody else doesn't believe doesn't mean you're being disrespectful just whoa just means you have a different idea see what i did there no there's nothing wrong with having a different idea although a lot of times you think it does i can't believe i did that and I'm not going to cut it because I'm talking to you. All right.
you know so you know if if I talk to somebody about Christ and they don't want to hear it you know because that's not their idea you know um Jesus doesn't tell me to stand there and yell at them because they don't believe the way I do you know or just to leave them you know be nice and walk away talking to you Christians out there too who think you have to shove things down people's throat that's not what Christ tells us to do so you know we're, we have a, we have a great commission to tell the world right but we have to forgive each other we can't just uh, go around hating each other because we have different thoughts different ideas different perspectives you know we're to forgive each other that's what Christ did Christ, look at we're all sinners we're dirt we're scum Jesus was good his whole life he didn't he didn't cause any sin and then he let himself be hung on a cross beaten and bloodied because we couldn't be forgiven unless we had a, unless there was a perfect sacrifice for all our sins and he was it he was the lamb that was slaughtered for our sins so if he can take on and forgive the whole world for all their sin why can't we forgive each other for thoughts different ideals different ideas we should be able to come from any walk of life and be respectful of each other's ideas and if somebody says something to harm us we forgive them you know what a much better world this would be right we wouldn't have all these riots and burning down buildings and and uh you know all these fights and arguments that go on because we can't forgive each other you know just forgive you'll find it feels much better forgiving feels much better than any anger or yelling or demanding could ever bring give it a shot and the other person Lord willing would uh, have the same attitude and it might catch on like wildfire and uh, we'll be a much better humanity for it thank you for joining me um, if you like these videos um, please smash that like button that seems to be a popular thing to say and um, subscribe please uh, and please share these videos with anybody you might think might enjoy them the hobby enthusiast in your life or anybody else I uh, thank you again have a wonderful day and God bless